Novak Djokovic versus Rafa Nadal is a blockbuster second round matchup at the Olympics. And both guys have had different roads to get to this stage. Nadal entered this tournament as number 161 in the world with a win-loss record of 11 wins and six losses, most of those being on the clay. His best result this year was actually a final in Bostad only a week ago where he lost to Borges in the final, but it was the first final he's made in a couple of years. His best win was against Alex Diminor in Madrid, who was number 11 in the world at the time. And his worst loss was actually against Jordan Thompson in Brisbane in the quarterfinals at the start of the year. So not a bad loss in terms of ranking, considering Rafa's ranking has been outside the top 100 for the entire year. His form has been great, winning four matches in a row on the clay in Bostad. He has been really, really solid and has got to like his chances in this one. Djokovic enters this tournament as the number two in the world with a 23 win, seven loss record this season. His best result actually came in his last tournament at Wimbledon, making the final there, his first final and only final of the year so far, eventually losing to Alcarez that one in three sets. But he did get a couple of good wins along the way in that tournament. His best win was against Alex Diminor, who was number 11 in the world when they played in Monte Carlo back in April. And his worst loss actually came in Indian Wells against Nardi, who was number 123 in the world at the time. His form has been great, of course, getting some really good results at Wimbledon and making the final there. He also made the quarterfinals of the French Open as well, just before Wimbledon. So he has started to find that form despite having this knee injury. These guys have played 59 times before, which is such a ridiculous number to say out loud, with Djokovic leading 30 to 29 in the head-to-head. -head. However, Rafa has won two of their last three matches being on the clay. In fact, their last four matches have been on clay with Rafa winning three of those four. But of course, we've got to think realistically, two years ago, both these guys were in such a different position in terms of ranking and physicality. So watching this match, it's really hard to determine whether or not previous matches actually matter that much because their bodies are so different to what they were. If Nadal's going to win this one, he needs to be a little bit more aggressive because of that leg injury that he's carrying. He's got a bit of a hamstring or a thigh injury coming in. He's also had blisters on the hand as well that he got treatment for in his last match against Fucevic. So he's going to have to maybe be a bit more aggressive than he's comfortable with on this surface and at this venue. If Djokovic's going to win this one, he needs to serve big like he's been doing since that knee surgery. At Wimbledon, he served amazing. Even against Ebden in the first match, he served really well. So he's going to have to serve big and be a bit more aggressive against Rafa so that Rafa doesn't expose his movement because we don't, do know that Djokovic's movement has been compromised as well. What a joy to watch these guys play. And I guess we probably won't see them play again on the ATP, maybe in exhibitions when they retire. But I have to go with Djokovic in this one in straight sets. I just think Djokovic right now is a little bit closer to what he was when they played last time in 2022. Whereas Rafa, man, we know it's kind of the farewell parade. So I'm going to go with Djokovic in a close straight sets. I reckon this is going to be a long one. But let me know in the comments below who's going to win this blockbuster.